is, this is a bridge port miller machine, very speed head. It's got a two axis digital readout system, power feed in the X axis, and power in the quill as well. So it's really nice and smooth in the X, very little backlash at all. The same in the Y. It's also got chrome beds on the Y axis there. The knee's nice and smooth as well. I'll just turn that handle around so I don't walk into it. Okay, so uh, I'll test the X axis for you. So it's got a variable speed drive, which can go all the way to the very lowest, the very highest, just on the uh, variable resistor there. But as well as that, you've got a uh, rapid override as well. And you see, you can set your stops to wherever you need to on here. Just let it go to the middle, stop, and then go the other way, rather than going backwards and forwards dead quickly. Just to be kind to the machine, you know. And again, take your finger off and it just goes back to feed. You should be able to see the x-axis DRO telling you the exact position as well as that's moving. And the same in the Y. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to test the, the head and the quill assembly. So it's in high range at the moment. It's running nice and quiet. So that's the very lowest, it's about 450 RPM. That's middle, that's 1000 RPM. And that's the very highest, now I think that's a bit too high. So about 2.2 two is about the limit on the, on the vary speed. And then we go back to 1000 again. I'll just put it in reverse. It's just as quiet in reverse. <clears throat> well, the brake's really only for holding the spindle while you're taking the drawbar out, not for stopping it while it's running. Okay, so now I'll put it into low range for you. Okay, just check it in before you fire it up. Now that's low range and that's that's about 120 in low range. I'll take it all the way down to the bottom. So that's 50 RPM in low range. That's like one, 120 now. And that's about 2.2. One twenty again, all the way down. Now I'll put it back into into high now. And the reason being is I just want to check, make sure it's in before you make sure that's actually in into the locked in before you fire up. <clears throat> I'm putting it into the higher range because we're going to test the quill now. We want to be on about a thousand RPM. just so we can see the quill come down easily. So for every spindle speed, you've got three different quill feeds. So that's in the highest at the moment, which is the top. That's the slowest in the middle. And that's medium, which is at the bottom. I'll put it back into the high range so that you can see it, uh, uh, so we don't have to wait as long. Hopefully you can see this turn in each time. So you can see now, as I engage, the handle's going down, and the quill's going down. So you should be able to knock it off with two fingers, which you can do. Engage it again. I'll let it go all the way down on its own. There we go. Okay, so we can reverse that. Just pushing it in, never hit, never hit this with a hammer or anything, just always with your hand, you have to need to tease it in, it's quite a big dog clutch. 
Again, now you see the handles going up and the quills going up. I'll reverse it again. And there is a neutral position, the centre of that is neutral, so you need to make sure it's one way or the other, but only gently. And again, I can change the feeds to slowest and to medium while it's running, if need be. Just showing you that they're all working, you know. There's another handle here, this engages and disengages this whole quill assembly here, but that should only be moved while the machine is in the stationary position. Sometimes you have to tease it in, but just do it by hand, not with it on, because it would break it otherwise. Okay, so that's it, uh, demo over, it's a nice machine.